This is We Need to Talk. Mm-hmm. Ah, goes down smoother the more you drink it. Yeah. This episode's fine. We just turned alcoholics yeah, pretty much. We yeah. have no real reason to drink. Yeah, we're just, we're just like, you know, addicted. this is good stuff. Um, <laughs> no, this is a good episode. Um, one for the road. <laughs> uh, this is a good episode. Um, again, it's funny because the last episode talked so much about fusion and this one it's or at least we thought it did until we see this episode it's like no this is the one that really talks about fusion um we see connie and steven fuse again and then they fall apart and the father They're is so adorable and the, they really are freaking adorable uh and the father explains about his past experience quote unquote fusing uh with rose we and, got to see their band the yes. crystal gem and the holograms definitely um <laughs> With, uh, Were you so, getting a gem vibe from that? I oh liter yeah, I, literally I, gem vibes. <laughs> yeah, I mean okay. it's it's it, it, both with a G and a J. Yeah, um, and you know, that was good. Was I the only one I thought that went on just like just hit too long? <laughs> the the song. I don't know, maybe because it's like, well, I need to show you this video. It's like, I, oh, what's it going to be? And it's the song. I'm like, get to what you're supposed to be talking about. <laughs> um, These are only 10 minutes, man. <laughs> you know what? 80s awareness. There you go. Have, uh, to, have to expose the children to what we grew up with. That, that's a super nitpick, though. Um, um, I <laughs> oh, Pearl. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I actually like it. I have no problem if a, if a character is being mean if it feels like it's organically written into the story and i'm like no that would be a reaction she is literally jealous like yeah. it, um i no, i get I, that i, I, I understand that and you know i i like the fact that her plan went awry um well and it's one of those I, things pearl's still my favorite character i can totally admit it. i'm like oh she's she's got issues it, it's she's one got issues it's one of the things where you see I like when she says it looks like Rose is really into him too, or if his, you know, her favorite thing too. I like that she kind of like now, like she's not in super denial or anything like that. But she's no, still she's just like obviously super. I'm jealous. gonna put a stop to this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you finish, but first let me just say, she mine. <laughs> um, well, and again, it does kind of show, you know, the again. I mean, what we already know with Pearl and Rose, but I mean the whole fusion thing. I mean, you did see him actually fuse. Um, I love these designs of these fusions. I mean, as soon as you found out, you find out they can the do four this. eyes and I mean, as soon as you find out they can do it, it's like God. The opportunities. The pearl quartz or R rainbow quartz. I rainbow think something quartz. Like that. Something, yeah. Um, um, and it's one of those things. Yeah, where it's no, like that, when you find out they cool. can do it, it's like, oh man, what they can do, and <laughs> they take advantage of it. They and show it, all these different fusions. It looks like a lost character from Gem and the Hologram. <laughs> yeah, I like sort of the what well, um, one of those the socks that the ankle socks or whatever those are. Oh, the um, pink. Uh, the, yeah, the, the spandex thing and everything. It definitely looks like a workout video. Um, <laughs> I need a hero. <laughs> and I, I like seeing young Amethyst um, too. I like, even though I'm kind of yeah. wondering how that works because if they're like thousands of years old. You know, the father's got to be whatever in his twenties. Now he's in like his fifties. So how in that span of time did she grow that much? Because if they're I like how young old, Amethyst is just like a dog. Go yeah. fetch. <laughs> Give us privacy. Yeah. Um. It. Yeah. I did like the Marx Brothers reference too. I'm like, yeah, that is kind of what they remind me of when compared to Rose. It's like she's kind of the serious one, the matriarch, and. You got these three kind of stooges. <laughs> well, I really like, I like seeing Garnet not be in command. I like seeing her being like the second in command because uh, Rose yeah. was obviously. Kind she kind of. Kinda, <sighs> well, that's the thing. The the funny thing is, okay, Amethyst in no way is ever in command. Yeah. Um, but I feel that with Rose gone, the duties are split between Garnet and Pearl. Because well, Pearl definitely has assumed sort of a, she's kind of the worrier side of things. We need to do this, this, and that because I'm worried this would happen. And Garnet has a kind of leadership capability of let's kick ass. But Rose seems like she was the complete package. Yeah, Rose seems like she has. And she now it seems like they're the all silliness. split up into three. She had, she yeah. had the tentacles. She had the the strength and everything. You know, she had the details. Uh, where it kind of makes sense all that all three of them. Basically, the three of them equal one Rose. Yeah. Like, Rose um, has all of their personality traits rolled up into one. Which is why I like that Garnet is still kind of like, because uh, Pearl is great at sort of having, like, you know, the details and being very precise and stuff. As you see, she can get jealous, she can get emotional and stuff, where Garnet is very much more middle of the road and, for the most part, you know, much more in control. Um, so, you know, and obviously, you can see beforehand, she was almost like, 
kind of the muscle, like the bodyguard or whatever. Like, you know, she had the cool shades and maybe, yeah, give him privacy, you know. Hey, you want some advice? You know, like, she yeah. has, but you there's know, a detachment like a to Garnet that could be off-putting. I feel like that's her weakness. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. so detached. Yeah, exactly. Rose and, of is course, still Amethyst is immature. <clears throat> um, you know, and... and Pearl's strength is she worries because she's neurotic, but that's also her weakness. Yeah. Um, I think without Pearl there, they would end up getting in way more trouble because they wouldn't consider the consequences of things. So yeah. she's kind of the conscience, but it... Yeah, no, so it's, it's interesting to see them outside of their current element well, I, I and basically in a situation where they're actually the subordinates. Well, I think you could see an interesting, you know, sort of connection with, you know, I didn't think of it until now that, you know, with... The, the human and the gem, you know, Rose and him talking. And I like that they do show she doesn't get it, you know, that this human thing. Well, she's like, I'm not human. I'm trying to get because they... And you find yeah. out more and more that fusion really is the way it's like because... It feel, I, I forget they ever say it how they feels like an they, arranged marriage. Well, I was going to say, I forget they ever say like if they... How they reproduce if they're just gems, they're just kind of mined and found or whatever, you know, and then they just sort of become people. Uh, well, because it doesn't billions sound like, of years ago, the earth was a molten mess. No, but I'm saying and that there is no, it sounds like there's no real sex, there's no real, like the fusion is the closest thing they have, you know, there's no real reproducing, <laughs> making another person. Rose is kind of like the first person there was a gem to do it. My dirty mind when Steven and uh, Cotty fused, uh, yeah, that sort of concept just hit me and when he's just like she's like don't tell my parents i'm like oh my god <laughs> i won't say that it's you're okay pregnant. it's okay steven just don't get her pregnant <laughs> um so you know it's one of those things where it's like <sighs> i feel like i'm getting close and close because even pearl says well no matter how close you get it doesn't matter because you can't fuse you know, so it seems like that's like their... Well, now we've proven like, that wrong. The closest um, thing to sex. Uh, well, no, but even... But Steven... It, even Steven um, is a... You know, he's half human and half... Oh, I guess that's uh, true. Gem. Well, that's why at the so end when, that's when he's like, yeah, you know, human, or human to talk to, and he sort of touches the pearl, like he's he's not fully one thing. You know, he... he oh, yeah, no, that, I love that ending where he looks down like, list. yeah, like I got the impression it's just like, what am I? Well, and that's, a, again, talking about identity, and I think with uh, with him being a human and Rose being a gem, and then trying to I'm connect, trying to find the middle not. ground. Well, I mean, but it's like they're two extreme things, and Steven's somewhere in the middle, and yet with both of them, it's like there's, or all three of them, there's this connection, there's, again, trying to find that identity, and I think it's very much trying to show it's, it's not a bad thing, and I feel very much like that's very much a culture thing, you know, where it's like, oh, well, you're from this culture, so you like this, you're from this culture, you like that. And there can be exceptions, there can be people that can defy that, and it's, it's fine. If anything, it opens up to more variety, more options. The whole concept of, like, racial purity and all that is so far gone now. Like, well, you can't... I mean, I, it's impossible. <laughs> like, it... Well, I mean... We a, become globalized to a point, and it's the same thing with cultures. It's like... It's like when people talk about, well, that's not authentic Chinese food because it's Chinese American. Well, they were Chinese and they came here and they adapted it, so it's its own cool thing. Well, and that's what I feel like, like it, whenever it's like, well, no, no, it has to be this total one hundred percent culture. This authenticity. Culture. New is cultures are being made so, every day. Yeah, authenticity is so overrated. Well, it's, it's this is what drives you nuts about the anime community. It's like if any poor schmuck North American tries to incorporate a few Japanese words into their lexicon, the fucking weep of the don't don't even bother trying. It's like why can't somebody fucking enjoy something? Like I would rather somebody like enjoy a culture and you know pick up certain aspects of it. And it's like I took German. I say German words occasionally. It's like some real German sat there's like don't. Don't even, but I'm like, fuck you! <laughs> like, the funny thing is, I find it's often people, like, in the other culture that do that. Yeah, like, they're not even from the like, culture. The Japanese don't give a fuck half the time. They're like, what? They think it's cute sometimes. Like, you know, but meanwhile, it's like people here, it's like, I can't even just... Ugh. I'm like, like shut what, up. When I see a Japanese just movie Just let anime, us enjoy shit. When I see a Japanese movie or anime where some where they're saying, like, American words, or, or any foreign movie or anything where they're saying Well, that's American what we words, forget. Like, oh, English oh, is... Oh, yeah. no, that, that's cute. That's not, you know, it's, I don't... Yeah. How dare you even try? That's it's, our language. I mean, it's like, no, that's... Well, and the funny thing is, I'm like, the Japanese are doing it all the time. The amount of English that goes on over there is hilarious. <laughs> you know, and it's not like we're ever going to pronounce Japanese right, unless you probably lived there for 20 years, but 
but that's the fun of it. I it's never like, get enjoy offended. it for Christ's sake. Yeah, well, and I think that's always the thing. It's like you know, everyone's like, oh, well, these. It's good to have culture. It's good to have identity. But when you're like, this is it. There's nothing else to me. No, mix up the identities. <laughs> add too to many the people identity. try to like segregate. It's like. Oh, that's fine. Just separate but equal. Fuck that. Yeah, no, there, there, there's a lot of words. And that's not just, that's just groups in general, I find. That is one of the downsides of group culture is that, you know, they are like, well, we're the blank yeah. and you're the blank. So oh, we're better nerds, at this and less at this. And Nerds are this. some of the most biggest assholes <laughs> too. And I mean, I don't care if I get shit for this. I have seen in my lifetime nerd culture go from something where it was kind of like, oh, we're kind of like counterculture and we're doing our own thing and oh, the jocks make fun of us to now we're the fucking jocks! <laughs> Treating others like shit because like, oh, well, you're not a real comic book fan. It's like, oh, well, you just read the top. You don't know jack shit. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Let somebody enjoy whatever the fuck they want. It's just like the way it's gone full circle in my lifetime, it really fucking disgusts me. Sorry, I just went on a rant there, but... How much, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, just say how much I love that. I'm just fucking saying. <laughs> yeah, talk about how it's unfair to judge other groups as you just judged another <sighs> group. But, but no, we're, we're geeks. No, I mean, I you judge, know, I there's judge, tons hey, of nice people. I nice judge other stuff. groups that judge. <laughs> And no, that, that's the endless that circle my, you were talking that, about. Yeah, that is, no, that's my biggest pet peeve. No, I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, other and, people that just judge other people for just... Well, and I you just, see it in a group. There is something, as much as that yeah. sucks, there is something funny. It's like, it does show no group is, you know, away from this. Every group does this, especially if it gets big enough. You know, geek media has become like this huge thing now. So, of course, there's going to be people saying, well, I was a geek, the hipster thing. I was a geek before you were a geek. You're not a true geek. You're not a true gamer. You're not a true, you know, true whatever. Just do what you want and there's no, it. There's no true anything yeah we're all like a million flavors of mutt like buddhism man life's an illusion <laughs> it, so yeah. I, and that's what i like about this show it does show very much like you know there's just so many combinations and so many cultures and so much that so much that you can mix together and there's just so much more opportunity and so much more intelligence and so much more wisdom and so much you can learn from combining these things rather than you know trying to be like oh authentic or one thing or keep it separate so i like all the combinations i like the opportunity that you can uh, fuse with that. Diversity, man! It's a beautiful thing! <laughs> Stop harshing my buzz, man! So, yeah, we, we really have probably had too much of this stuff, but, um, yeah, no, with, with that said... Shit, that... turn me into angry. <laughs> but I will say, that that's, again, the great thing about this show, and that's why I love that it's for kids, and that it's for adults, too. Obviously, we can talk about, we can get drunk talking about, but, you know, it's something that, you know, you teach them while they're young, and you open them up to these ideas, uh, so I, I love that, and I think this is such a good show for doing that. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Uh, we'll see you in the next one um, after our AA meeting. I have a problem. I don't. I'm running out. I have a problem, too, then.